Girls on Tinder will say, your parents will love me, but your neighbors won't. Like, what are you gonna do? Start mowing at 7 a.m. on a Saturday? R slash suspiciously specific. It's been a little bit, but hey, disclaimer. Please do not use the toaster and microwave at the same time that camera 2, VTR7, and telephone line number 4 are in use. This will blow the breakers on the middle elevator. <laughs> Thank you, management. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, I should buy some orange juice. I love it. I don't know why I never have it in the house. And then I get some and I remember it's because some kind of dormant scurvy prevention instinct activates within me, like a sleeper agent trained to seek and destroy, except it's just me standing in front of the open fridge at 2 in the morning, chugging juice straight out of the garden like a great citrus gremlin. <laughs> So, um, my cat is licking himself loudly and wetly somewhere in this pitch black room and it sounds like there's an old man eating a bowl of chili in the dark with me. <laughs> I feel sorry for anyone that does ridiculously because that would be funny. I don't understand that first message. Dies. Anyone that died ridiculously. Yeah, me too. Like, slipping on a banana peel and getting a ketchup bottle stuck up your butt, but you bleed as it was a glass bottle, and the doctor doesn't know what's blood and what's ketchup, so you bleed out. Easy, just do a taste test. God. The McDonald's workers watching me walk in for the seventh time today, knowing damn well I'm gonna order 372 small root beers and nothing else. <laughs> when your crush calls you and tells you there's some creep watching her through her window, so you go to her house and help her, but she asks how you got there in 15 seconds. I, uh, I happen to be speed walking nearby when you called. Megamind is such an underrated movie. ACDC, I'm on the highway to hell. Play this at a hospital while disconnecting all the machines. <laughs> when you're absolutely terrified of butterflies, but you work for National Geographic and they need pictures of butterflies. That is, that is really good Photoshop. That is really good. R slash ass credit. What is something we can all agree on being a dick move? Standing up to get your bags and crowd the gate door because you missed your big shot just after flight attendants told everyone to stay seated so medical personnel could evac the guy at the back of the plane who just had a heart attack in front of his kids. Her, before sex, be gentle. Her, 10 minutes into sex, hit me with a brick while calling me your sister's name. Wait, that's illegal. This drinking game prompt. Drink two times if you've ever watched Chinese porn where the scene takes place in a bus with 14 guys. <laughs> no, but I have seen something that includes 18 cowboys. If you got that reference, congratulations. You're in the same hellhole that I'm in. There are roughly 40 million kangaroos worldwide, and there are 8 million people in Ohio. So if there was an instance that kangaroos invaded Ohio, each individual would have to fight off a minimum of 5 kangaroos, and <laughs> I don't know if we could do it. You couldn't. How big are deer? Adult deer are as tall as a bicycle. They weigh as much as 800 hamburgers. Okay. Ten poles are not for pole dancing. Please find alternative ways to disappoint your father. There must be a really good story behind this one. There's a guy who's autistic, kind of a slob, likes to play games, look at memes, really clingy, and likes to look stylish, comes from a small family living in an apartment, and there's a girl who likes photography, K-pop, Marvel movies, eating healthy, kind of shy, and only has a few friends, come from a big house of a few siblings and very strict parents. Would they get along or make good friends? Are you, uh, are you asking for a friend there, buddy? I just heard two girls making fun of another girl for wearing the same shoes two days in a row. Like, what? 
I'm sorry your rich dad's buy you new watches every day because he cheated on your mom in 2003 and tries to buy your love. I can't relate, you bin bag. They're trying to ban flavored jewel pods for being too appealing to children. Like all of us haven't woken up in a field at six in the morning covered in vomit at the age of 15 after slamming an entire bottle of whipped cream binnacle the night before. Who hasn't? I hate AirPods. Dude, I'd rather be broke than have two little tiny things to keep track of. Oh, there's like a carrier. Ma, ma, ma. Like, I'll remember the carrier when I'm barreling out of my door with the bus coming in two minutes. An AirPod falls out and falls into a storm drain. I fling my head around to watch it fall. The other one flies out onto the street and my bus crushes it. I scream in agony and run up to it and the bus just barrels straight over me because bus drivers in Chicago's have three kilos allowances a year. <laughs> What's worse than a heartbreak? Falling off a toilet mid and tumbling out of the cubicle and your boss is in there washing his hands and he freaks out and you just keep and pissing and he's screaming and tries to open the door. But his hands are soapy so he slips and falls backward onto you and dot dot dot. Let me tell you this. If firefighters had to cut me loose from a traumatic car accident and I would wake up after a coma of eight days and I saw that the doctors decided to amputate my legs because they could not rescue it in time, I would stand up and offer you my hospital bed because you look way worse than me. Dude, you f***ing killed them. Me. Getting ready to ask someone out to homecoming knowing full well that even if they say yes at first, it'll probably end up like last time with them saying no 20 hours later. Alright, let's do this one last time. My face when the Dairy Queen worker flips my blizzard upside down. My face when my girlfriend and I were playing volleyball and she sprains her foot so we go to the doctor to find out she's pregnant. Ah, <laughs> that's a... Uh, that's a good reference as to what the image is from. Wow, could I have said that any more awkwardly than the way I did? My god. New break today, cross your fingers. Don't need a screen to tell you when it's bad. When you press the brakes and it sounds like two cats in a dumpster, it's time to change them. <laughs> That's the most accurate description I think I've ever heard of terrible breaks. <laughs> I feel like there's a story here. ASMR. Rude Brandy Melville employee. ASMR. Rude Brandy Melville employee interviews you. Some of the ASMR videos just go off the goddamn wall with like what they're doing for their like roleplay things. Like I've seen a couple where it's like robbing you blind, sacrificing you, inviting you to a cult. It's it's a pretty pretty wide variety of content. When she asks you how's your footwork and you respond with a detailed description of how well you give foot jobs, but then she says <laughs> that she meant footwork as in dancing, so you have to kill her and store her body in an industrial freezer for 10 years until the investigation dies down and you can go explain to her parents what happened <laughs> to their daughter and end your explanation with, you could say I had to put her on ice, but they don't laugh and now it's awkward. <laughs> Okta be like, password requirements were not met. Password requirements, at least 16 characters, a lowercase letter, an uppercase letter, a number, a symbol, no parts of your username, sacrifice a virgin goat on a stone stand during full moon at midnight on the seaside while the herd is watching. If you tried to live on iceberg lettuce alone, you would have to eat 34 heads of lettuce daily, and you would spend 17,551 annually before dying of multiple nutrient deficiencies. Why was this calculated? Because they did the math! I love that subreddit. I'm gonna be doing that one soon. Imagine being in a cabin trying to get back to sleep alone in your room at 2 a.m. with nothing but woods and pitch blackness outside, and since it's summer, you have your window open, and all of a sudden, out from the woods, you hear a faint, <laughs> and your skin turns to ice and you freeze up, wondering if you actually heard it. And 10 minutes later, you hear another, <laughs> 
This time, you know now that it's approaching and you decide to stay as still as possible because maybe it's not looking for you and you won't draw attention to yourself if you don't make any noise. And 10 minutes later, <laughs> you jump up screaming. And as you get up, you see a pale white face pressed against your window among the darkness. And you just keep screaming because you are too afraid to function. And all you can think of is to awake your parents in the next room but they never come because this thing is smart and has planned this out and is getting what it wants because you've been a hit by, but you've been struck by a smooth criminal. Me, I'm not gonna drink tonight. <sighs> Me at 3 a.m. in the parking lot on the other side of the city pretending to play an imaginary piano. These dogs are the villains in a movie where a golden retriever wins a snowboarding tournament. Yeah, that's, that's about right. All they're missing now is those really creepy CGI mouths that they try to pass off as being real, and they have to look oddly into the camera whenever they talk, and it's just really uncomfortable. I'm looking at you, Marmaduke. It's all fun and games until you try to build dick armor with the 400 plus little magnet cubes, only to have it collapse <laughs> into itself after you put it on and somehow a few blocks are now stuck together with your scroll. I mean, but, oh. R slash ask reddit. People who customize the exhaust on your 2003 Honda Civic to make it sound like someone blasting a wet fart through a megaphone, why do you do this? Asking real questions! Sorry. The gilfs, dig it. Ugh. Don't forget that every bumper sticker that you put on the car adds 5 HP. And those neon underglow lights, they add like 10 HP. And that big ass wing you put on the back of there, that's like 50 HP. And also, those big ass subwoofers add 100 HP. Don't forget the Honda Civic mods. Now, if you drive a Honda Civic and you mod it properly, kudos to you. Pineapples! You just failed spelling pineapples. Why are you on the internet? Isaac, hey, did you know pineapples grow on trees? D did you just misspell pineapples? <laughs> Sorry, autocorrected. <laughs> We're talking right now. What the hell? Wipes forehead. Don't wipe my forehead again. I slide out of bed with a man I just met. Walking out in the street in nothing but my underwear, chewing grittily on a cigarette. I push a stranger into oncoming traffic like the hard and callous sex pot I am, and say, F yeah, this tweet is so f spot on. Balls, blowjob. I adjust my underwear sexily, totally unaware that men are staring at my sexy human female body. What the fuck is going on? Later, I walk into my office, still chewing on a cigarette. I've eaten an entire pack today, still in my underwear. And I say to my fellow cops, you better not take me less seriously just because I'm a girl. And then I punch the chief of police. I had a lot of brothers growing up and also some dads. I'm 19, but all of my cultural references and speech sounds like the voice of a team of 37 to 43 year old men. Women are supposed to relate to me, but I have never exchanged more than three consecutive words with another human female because they're always whining stupid sh like, oh, please stop pushing me to traffic, or you really shouldn't eat nothing but cigarettes. Ugh, sissy girls. What the hell did I just read? Me, time for sleepy. My garbage body, hot, 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 no, cold, no hot, bad, bad, throw up, no, hungry, no, remember that mistake you made at work, internalize it, never forget, back hurt, yes, headache, yes, hot, roll over, rah, rah, Rasputin, Russia's greatest love machine. You know, just because y'all have been good and no one has looted Mini Oz, to my knowledge, I'm gonna have Mini Oz read this next one. So. If we match we are going to meet for a few drinks and you will fall in love with me straight away. We will go on some more dates and you will pop the question ring. We will go to Thailand for our honeymoon and have two kids called George and Isabella. Also have seven dogs one definitely has to be called Max. Popper emoji. Can speak 12 languages. I have a pet elephant. None of the above is true, but just so you know I'm a psycho. Eyes emoji. 
Hey, welcome to the outro. Don't forget I have a Discord and Twitter. Those are in the description below. If you want to check out my gaming channel where I'm going to be streaming on the weekends, then click there and all that jazz. And yeah, that's really all you're going to know. If you enjoyed this video, do the liking and subscribing and all that stuff. And I'll see you all next time. Woo.